afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to this virtual online session. And uh, it's pretty nice to meet you in this online virtual uh, sessions for Apache Khan Asia. And this introductory session is going to talk about our uh, new features of, and uh, developed impact of our uh, new BigTop 3.1 release. And uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Yu uh, Qigu. I worked for ARM, and uh, I'm also the assignee engineer for uh, Lenaro. And uh, I am the committer and the PNC member and the chair of Apache BigTop. And in ARM and the Lenaro, I focus on uh, um, ecosystem enablement and uh, optimization for data science stacks. Um, it's the agenda. And uh, first, I'd like to introduce uh, some challenges and uh, gaps in the big data ecosystems. Then I'd like to talk about what is the big top and why we choose the top to to overcome these challenges. And the next is about the new features of uh, the top uh, 3.1 release and the new uh, developed the, the MPEG. I will uh, describe uh, what is the uh, MPEG. Uh, the last is the planning of our future work. And I also would like to show the demo you know, the work click to deploy uh, impact and barrier impact. And so we can easily set up a cluster and uh, deploy Hadoop by running a simple script. First is the challenges in this uh, ecosystem. Let's see. And as you know, uh, today, uh, Hadoop ecosystem is uh, boss and storage and uh, MapReduce framework. Uh, this uh, baby uh, elephant is outgrew its cradle. So uh, there are many components in these uh, ecosystems. Uh, some components are developed for uh, data processing, uh, some for data streaming, and some for data analysis, and some for monitoring, and uh, also for some also some project is designed for security. And we have seen the massive usage of this data analysis, which also bring, you know, the huge clusters. So uh, how to left them and uh, how to take them is a challenging task for us. So there, you know, there are some many challenges in this Big ecosystem. Uh, first is that there are huge amounts of the components, you know, for uh, different uh, Linux distros in this uh, big world, and uh, there are also you know some dependency issues and the uh, cyclic uh, reference issues uh, in this ecosystem. So uh, those all things are also the challenges to enable and uh, valid validate this uh, project of different uh, platform and uh, architectures. I mean, as mul uh, multiple architectures like uh, ARM, x86, and RPC. So it's not easy to offer a full uh, multiple arc, uh, multiple uh, distro support uh, big data stack to uh, end the users. Mm, you know, the users uh, may be not uh, also, they may not familiar with uh, every component in these uh, ecosystems. Even uh, they may not know how to use uh, different kinds of uh, uh, build tools like uh, Ant, like Gradle, uh, Maven, uh, GCC, and uh, anything like that. All these things are the obstacles for the newcomers, and also some for some developers. Uh, and the users, this is the challenges, okay? 
And secondly, uh, there are also a huge, I mean, amount of uh, tools requirement in this uh, Hadoop ecosystem. Before you build some um, uh, projects, uh, would you like to prepare the whole uh, complex uh, environment uh, in the ecosystem? Um, dozens of vendors, dozens of vendors, they uh, offer different tools. And uh, uh, there are also many contributions from uh, a wide variety of uh, different organizations and uh, or from uh, individuals. So these tools constantly evolving and keep upgrading. And then uh, these huge amounts of tools uh, maybe not to work well on different platforms, on different architecture host and uh, different Linux distros. So these are the, you know, these are maybe the big challenges and the gaps in front of us that need to be uh, overcome. Uh, so BitTop is uh, a top level Apache project help us to uh, overcome I mean, these uh, challenges and, and, and gaps. And then I would like to introduce uh, what is the BitTop and how it can be uh, help us to overcome these um, challenges or some gaps. Um, BitTop is Apache project for infrastructure engineers and uh, data scientists who are looking for packaging, uh, testing, and uh, configuration of the open source big data components. Um, BigTop uh, help us to uh, package, you know, the hard to ecosystem components to uh, RPM and or Debian artifacts. It also supports over 25 components here. And uh, you may also ask, uh, what do people use BigTop for? Uh, as you can uh, download uh, you know, BigTop to build Hadoop uh, from our uh, web website. And so you can have a running pursued distributed Apache cluster to test your code. And uh, you can also run the big top to run the smoke test to ensure, uh, to ensure that uh, your cluster is working well or not. And uh, what is big top is, the, this is the uh, big top features uh, snapshot. Uh, big top provides the full functionality of packaging, uh, virtualization, and deployment and the testing of uh, big data components for users to build uh, their own uh, big data stack uh, from ground up. And for packaging, uh, big top uh, packages Hadoop RPMs and Debian's so you can manage and maintain and deploy your Hadoop cluster. For virtualization, uh, big top also provides Vagrant recipes, uh, raw images, and the Docker recipes uh, for deploying Hadoop and other uh, applications. Uh, for deployment, uh, people can use the top of Puppy uh, to deploy a uh, full functional distributed Hadoop uh, ecosystems. And the last is uh, testing. Testing is definitely important. Uh, BigTop also provides uh, integrated spoke testing framework alongside uh, a suite of over uh, 50 tested files uh, for users. So BigTop is a uh, total solution to uh, uh, provision a big data stack. Now, um, BigTop also uh, work perfect on uh, um, on uh, x86 and the power pc this uh, in another word big top supports uh, multiple distro and multiple architectures and uh, the next is why big top and you may ask why did we choose the big top at the very beginning uh, first just mentioned in previous slides 
and BigTop provides your own big data stack from BigTop bits. And BigTop will also help us to fix uh, dependency issues. It will also uh, pre-install all tools uh, which are required for many projects in the ecosystem. And you know, in a huge cluster, uh, lots of nodes need to be configured and the, the users may try may try more uh, performance improvement configurations. Then the cross uh, configurations change quite often. In other words, we can see less human involved, less mistake made. So BigTop leverage Puppet Framework, uh, which is the automation tool to help us to deploy and uh, configure the, you know, the, the ecosystem components. And it will help us also to uh, uh, automate the many respective tasks in this huge uh, cluster. And the diagram on the right shows the detail of the our big uh, big data stack powered by uh, powered by our big top. And uh, the stack this stack consists of the Hadoop ecosystem components, which could be packaged configured by our big top facility okay and uh, our big top also provides uh, multiple distro support like ubuntu fedora debian centos rocket linux uh, this is the second part for why big top uh, uh, big top can embrace uh, some many uh, specific architecture patches. And, uh, you know, from a user side, uh, they may not upgrade their uh, uh, Hadoop stack version frequently, uh, but their specific needs to fetch some uh, feature patches in their own software version. Uh, but from, you know, the upstream community perspective, uh, they need to take care about backward compatibility and uh, maintaining burden, which uh, need much more time and effort on it. So the you know the uh, upstream guys um, uh, they were they are reluctant to uh, accept ARM um, or other specific architecture features and patches into their. Uh, Man trap. So, this is the typical ex example in here. Uh, for ARM, uh, there are some specific features and the bug fix page, uh, patch need to be merged. Uh, in Hadoop, there are two dependency uh, modules like uh, Protobuf 3 and uh, Protobuf 2.5, which come from Google. And uh, these two versions didn't uh, support. Um, at first, and Google also did not release official pack, uh, packages for ARM in their uh, memory repo. After we did the contribution to uh, Protobuf, they released uh, Protobuf 3.50 to support ARM, but they are reluctant to, to make a minor release for 2.5 to specially uh, support ARM. You know, because they don't want to uh, take uh, another, uh, take more time and uh, and uh, efforts or some, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, maintaining burden uh, on this version. Uh, fortunately, so uh, Big Top could help to overcome these gaps, uh, gaps and uh, ARM patches can be added anytime and the user can fetch these patches into their current adopted software versions and they can also apply some custom patches independently from the upstream release. Big Top offered you know the flexibility to accept the patches for some specific architecture and features to build a user's own cluster. Okay, and it's also it's about uh, it's also it's about the why big top, and 
you know, some commercial uh, big data stack like CDH, which is the kind of Hadoop distribution from CloudRes no longer free to get now. And BigTop is also an open source alternative. It's free for every users. Many users also show their interest in BigTop. Like Wikimedia share a blog to describe their path to changing the Hadoop distribution. Um, by our big top in practice. And their engineer uh, from Wikimedia, the Luca, and I also deliberated uh, a joint talk about big top uh, on uh, Wikimedia uh, last year. And uh, uh, for Amazon, you know, they also adopted the big data stack which we also derive from our big uh, top. And for University of Michigan, they also deploy their 40 nodes cluster by a big top. They also uh, deliver the related uh, keynote talk uh, on uh, uh, Linaro Connect. And uh, for Huawei, uh, they join big top for open discussion by Linaro and they share the future of big top plans and the ideas for contribution. They also discuss, uh, we also discussed how we can work together in this community to enhance it and to resolve the, uh, some issues. And the next is the, uh, which new in BigTop 3.1. And the new release of BigTop supports uh, some major Linux distribution like CentOS, Rock Linux, Fedora, Debian, Ubuntu. We also upgrade components as shown in this table above. And we also designed corresponding spoke tests to verify them works well. And we also removed some components for incompatibility with Hadoop 3 or some projects in adapting. Okay, in this new release, uh, we additionally developed, uh, I mean, the, the developer features like uh, named MPEG provisioner. You know, uh, in this, uh, complicated, it, you know, it's a complicated to set up environments for developing or testing and pack. Uh, you may need three virtual machines for prepare environment and uh, install Embarry server node, two Embarry engine nodes, and then you deploy your Hadoop. Um, this MPEG uh, provisioner offers one click to deploy our big top and battery and uh, MPEG. And also, uh, it's easy to, it's easy to uh, prepare the whole environment. And uh, let me show the demo about, about this, okay? Uh, first, uh, I will run the scripts in the demo is in this host, and uh, this host IP is here, and now we cannot access the Mbari uh, uh, web access UI because I did not do anything. And then let me run this simple. Uh, scripts and uh, this uh, this scripts this scripts may be take about five or seven minutes uh, when we run when we run just deploying deploying and scripts for saving time let's go ahead and uh, it's the last let's get back to this uh, demo okay uh, um, this feature this feature was developed by uh, Chi Guo Wu, who is uh, our new contributor. And now, uh, thanks Chi Guo uh, for working on that. For... Uh, in this new release, uh, 
we also work on a, a bringing uh, Mbari back. As you know, Mbari retired in January this year. And the Cloud HDP and the Ranga offers free spot and many developers and, uh, and the clusters and administrators and no longer manage their uh, cluster from Cloud HDP. And according to a recent uh, survey, there is still a great demand uh, from Mari, and uh, there is no open source alternative for uh, uh, big data cluster, cluster management. So people like like to Mbari, and uh, Mbari has uh, worked great for us all those years, and uh, and a lot of work has uh, obviously been uh, put into Mbari, and it seems like such a waste uh, to throw it all away. These people uh, who are interested in uh, Mbari, they can they came from uh, multiple uh, organization like uh, Oracle, StatDT, NTT Data, Visa, um, and Lenaro, and some individual contributors. Roman, uh, who is uh, our big top founder, uh, he leads to uh, start, start uh, bringing Amari back. And some ASF uh, members and uh, Lexi Amari team members also get involved in it. So by taking um, Amari back and the total solution of Big Top, MPEG, and Amari would provide the advanced big data stacks uh, with support of uh, multiple architecture and the distributions uh, for users. You know, um, this is the uh, big picture of our uh, uh, of uh, big top impact to deploy uh, big data software stack by Mari. It supports all major, uh, I mean, uh, components uh, like high, uh, MapReduce, HDFS, and some other components like that. And uh, Mbari uh, can manage complex and uh, large distributed systems of Hadoop by simply accessing the web UI, uh, users uh, can easily access the UI to deploy and uh, monitor Hadoop-related project. Okay, uh, the details I will show the demo in the last. Okay, uh, the next is to talk about uh, what is the impact, what is the impact? Uh, so before introduce the impact, let's take a look at what is the Mbari stack. Mbari stack defines a set of services and the ripples where to obtain the software package for those services. And the services uh, means the uh, like uh, HDFS, Spark, and attention, extension, and defines a set of uh, a custom services which can be added into a stack version. And the stack also defines some commanders uh, scripts for service, for service starting, stopping, installation, and the configuration. But this uh, Mbari stack has some limitation. The limitation is, is if we want to upgrade the stack definition, we are enforced to release the whole Mbari. And uh, there's uh, no release vehicles that can be used to ship uh, add-on services. It's not convenient for user, to users to get a separate uh, uh, stack release. So MPAC is uh, also called management packs. MPAC is integrating to uh, Mari. It's called address these issues by decoupling uh, stack measurement and uh, definitions from various core uh, functionality. It also allow stack uh, definition to be a deploy time artifact, uh, not a compile, compile time, okay? And pack could be uh, released as uh, separate artifacts for users. It's convenient for user to select and different kinds of impact in their cluster. Okay, it's the overview of the impact. And it's our new developed impacts, uh, 
with the new epoch 3.1 and uh, um, impact targets to address, address the complete needs of running big data and to provide uh, data to rest. It also power real-time custom applications. And now there are only some essential um, components we have defined this uh, new big talk impact. It includes fundamental elements like HDFS, Young Zookeeper, MapReduce, Kafka. And we are working on at HBase, Rangers, Group, uh, Spark, and the other components to induce impact. And it's our impact step, um, step short. You know, the, the big top repo uh, supports multi arcs and the several distros include uh, Ubuntu, Centrus, Rocky, Linux, and the Debian 11. And the, the services it is that uh, uh, HDFS, uh, Kafka, and the Zookeeper. And it's the web UI user can easily deploy and manage and monitor the cluster uh, by this. Uh, <laughs> Web UI, okay. And the last is the, about the uh, future work, okay. Uh, we plan to upgrade Hadoop uh, to a three point three next release, and uh, we are also working on burning and bury back, and we are also are uh, working on add more component services in this uh, top impact and we will uh, investigate how to uh, leverage java uh, vector api in hardware system because uh, uh, vector api is supported by hardware vector operations and it can uh, increase the number of uh, compu computations performed in a single CPU cycle, it will help users to improve their performance. Okay, uh, the last is the demo. Let's let's get back to our demo. Uh, okay. We can see uh, the script is, uh, is run and uh, let's see the result. As case, uh, this script uh, is deployed three nodes, one for uh, Embarry server and for Embarry agent, we can refresh to access the Embarry web UI. Okay, we can access it. Then and then and then to login, and we can create a cluster. Cluster name and test. Okay, we can see that this is the GDFS, Kafka, Young, Zookeeper services for Big Top uh, 3.1. And uh, because our environment is the CentOS 7, uh, so we removed the Ubuntu and uh, uh, the ripple is the, the new Big Top 3.1.0 release. And our uh, architecture is x86. Okay. Next, the host name uh, is three known host name, the Ambari server and the Ambari agent. Engine one and engine two. And uh, you know, the private SH private key was printed in the, here. So we, we just Copy them to, to it. Let's register. Okay, the Embarry server and the Embarry agent are, are registering. Let's wait. Okay, the Embarry server is successfully registered and uh, the next is for Embarry agent one and agent two. We can see the log here. Uh, run the log. Just uh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, 
they all reduced successfully. Now, the MBRA is checking the potential problems in these three nodes. It will also take time. And, oh, that's good. Let's go ahead. This is, this is the configuration uh, web, web UI. And, uh, let's hit next. We typed uh, Hadoop to proxy user. Next. Okay, we can see we use the ripple as the Hadoop. I picked up 3.1 and uh, the data node, and the name node, and the Kafka will be deployed. This node will deploy down this nodes. Let's begin to deploy. Okay, the deploy process will take some time and uh, a full time uh, limitations. And um, let's go back to our slides and uh, Okay, um, that's all for um, for me. That's all for today's uh, presentations. And if you like, if you are interested in uh, the talk or interested in this demo, please feel free to contact me uh, by mail. And uh, I would like to uh, take any discussion uh, with you guys. And uh, okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your time. Thanks.